Hello everyone! Today we are taking a deep dive into the process of getting started with Ubus platform. If you are interested by what Ubus has offer, just go to our website and log press login button on the header. You will be automatically redirected to our platform. For those without an account, simply hit the register button. After filling in your details, keep an eye out of verification email to confirm your account. So now let's jump into the platform. I am already have created an account and I can just log in. Currently I find myself inside my first workspace, which was automatically generated for me. So let's explore the functionality and discover how to make the most out of the UBUS. Now you have two ways how you want to start from creating template or from creating service. So let's discover first of all our services. On this page you can see a list of available services. We always improving and this list can be changed. So as for now we have one UI editor as interface builder, one NetRed system as backend, four different types of database and one tier service. Let's create first of all UI editor. On this page, you will see which type of service you create. You can have ability to select a cloud provider and you can choose your space hardware for your needs. For example, I want to choose a Merium server. This will be okay for me. And there you can provide some service info. This service info depends on service type for database and internet, it's different. So let's create our first service. Now we are on loading page where we can see a process of creating our server and services. Uh, so when you create server and service, you need to wait about 8 minutes for all settings. Let's also create one more service. We, to create new service, you need to press this plus button near the service title. And let's create also an Android system. So there you see that this Android service, same cloud provider, space hardware was chosen. We can change it by clicking this button or we can go to workspace setting to change it. And let's create our Android. I also want to add some database. Press plus button one more time. Select the MongoDB for example. Everything is the same, but there I need to provide username, name and password for my database to have connection for this. And now we need to wait a few minutes for all settings. So now our service is ready to work. We can see green light near all of the services. So to open the service, what we need to do, just press to the service name. We can find all UI editor on this tab. All database will be on data store and on Flow Builder we will find our created Nutrad system. This is how our UI editor looking inside and we can find there are some functionality. We have ability to add some widget and add some APIs. So let's start from widget. There you can find all our widget list and you can just easily drag and drop this widget on our working space. Some type of widget and maybe one button. All widgets have some settings that you can change. For example, label widgets, you can add some class style and you have some basic style setting also. For example, I want to have button like this and maybe move it there. And let's add also two inputs. Let's set up placeholder for input widget. Let's change also label. And go to another widget. Also, let's set up placeholder. So, and let's connect our UI editor with our backend. 
To do this, first of all, we need to open our Notepad. On Notepad, we need to install some palette to connect our database. And we need to build uh, two different flops. One for get data from DB and one flop to save data on DB. So we need this node HTTP in. That will be named site to save data. We need to change this method. There will be body of our function. We need this Mongo. Choose insert and name collection as users, for example. And we need to add connection to DB. It's really easy. Just open this model window. Need to set up a database name, username. We fill this information when we create our service. And need to set up connection option. Press add button and done button. Also, we can name it as db, for example. So this flow to save our data, let's add to our user one more field. Like this. And we can name it. Let's deploy. We see our database is connected and we need one more flow to get data from DB. Let's do like this. We can just easily copy it using hotkey. This will be get data. We didn't have the find, so we need to use another Mongo. This one. And we need to add response for each of these flows. This one is there. And this one is there. Also, let's copy our collection name. Get data and so we need to get all data from Mongo. So that's all from backend side. Go to UI and create one API. The first one will be get data. There we can choose our node and there choose our endpoint. That's all. Let's run this API on page load and need one more API to save our data. Also, we can choose our net thread and this that. From UI part, we need to send some data that we want to send. So input one is it's not correct name, name for widget. Name input is better. Let's go back to our APIs, open say data, and we need to send to our flow on Notepad to save data on DB. Our user object. So we will say data, send data from our name input and as country. We will send data that we will type off on our country input. This value country text. So let's go back there. This button will run. Save. Save data and on success, that data. And this table will show information from this API. Let's try to do for the time it's there. Uh, This is John from Italy. 
press create button and there we have our john object we can do like this to don't see the, some ids and for example i want don't want to see that this user was deleted and the most important option that we have on our ui editor how to deploy application this is a really simple process you need just press this button and view application so the our api run on page load and we already have some data let's say also on the other db some name jane from usa press create and it's working uh, so you see that uh, create some application is really easy on your boss. Just in a few minutes, we have working user table like this. Yes, yeah, this is simply, but it's really fast. Now we can explore another functionality of our platform. If you don't want to build something from the start to the end, you don't need to drag and drop anything. You just want to use some template. You need to go to asset marketplace. There you will find the full list of our templates and you can install which one you want. Uh, before installing, you can read information about all of them, pressing just simply button quick look. There you see all information about this template, all integration, some categories, services that you need to use this template. Uh, there you can find all necessary information to understand what you will receive when you clone this template. You can see some screens, how it looks like, and some template have, give you ability to try its demo. I'm inside of the template. I have limited access to this application. If I want to use the full version, I need to clone it. So let's try how it works. Ask some question. And now I have answer from uh, our IU bot uh, that what is UBOS, what is about, they have one or uh, three different knowledge base for test. You can switch between this and try difference. And to get full version, you need to install this. So let's go back to our asset marketplace. There I have install button. That's the same page that we have for create service, but with template info. Now, my template, its process, it spent about one to minute to create all services that we need for using this template. And I see that my service list was updated. I have one new flow builder, two database and one UUI editor. So we need to wait. Also, you can find detailed information about this template when you click on this button. This is our YouTube channel where you can find all necessary information about our template. You can, you can find all settings for each pages that we have inside of the template. Our template already. You see some congratulations model window. You can open template by clicking there. There you can find some green light near all, all of services and there also green light. So let's open our template. And this is start page inside of our application, this deployed version. If you want to share the link to your application, you simply can go to our platform, to our platform and there you will find a link to the service button. Next to the service name, you can find the link. Just copy it and paste on the browser. And here we are. Uh, each of our services have some service setting. Let's check information inside of this. There you can see some general information about your services. You can make some general action with this. You can find kit information. You can set up your open domain to UI or not thread system if you need. And the main part, this is resources. There you can set up a reserved and limited resources for your service. You will see how much is available on your server. There are some server metric and something like this. It's very useful if you want to set up how many this service can take. If you see that you uh, don't have enough available space inside of your server, you can easily change server size. To do this, you need to go to workspace setting clicking button right there on left side menu. On this page, you also can find all general information about your server. You will see some server status. You can pause your workspace. When it, it's paused, you not build. You can share access to workspace to another developers, for example. You can see amount, service plan, and all information like this can delete it. Or you can change space hardware. 
Clicking simply button, you need to press confirm new hardware, your services will be reloaded. So also on workspace setting, you can find how much it costs for you. You can create some backups and you can also set up some resources. There you will see your total CPU, total RAM available, available CPU, available RAM, how much is services, which limit have each of services and all information like this you can find on workspace setting. We will automatically stop your workspace when your balance, you can find your balance sum, was less than $2. You don't have any problem with your services and keep your services always running. You need to charge your balance. So where you can find how to charge your balance? On left side menu on the bottom, you have button user setting. Let's open it. On the first page, there are some general information about your user profile. On this page, you can manage all billing information. There you have ability to top up your account. For example, I want to top up this price. I just press this checker and press add funds. And you was redirected to the Stripe page where you can securely charge your balance. So let's go back. Also, you can manage uh, your payment method, edit some billing information if you need, see what is your balance now, what is your current spending and how much it costs you. Months to date cost and last month cost. And there also you can manage your all active subscriptions, see how which server type you have for which of these workspaces. Clicking by workspace name, you will offer it on your tab. You can see all statuses, is this workspace working or pause as, and all information like this. So go to usage page is also very important. So there you can find how much which, which workspace spent for you. I have three workspaces on this account so i can see that image generation how much cost for me how much funding and this one didn't cost anything because this is the new one i also can find some history how this spent how much it spends for me and there i can find usage invoices and there you have it ubus allow you to easily create new application from the start to production version you can easily manage your a test environment, prod environment, you can set up resources for your workspace, you can set up resources and limits for your different services. If you don't want to create anything from the start, you can download, you can clone some template and install it and this will solve your business problem. So Ubus is for all of you. We will be happy to see you on our community.